I'm Christy from Garden Nerd, and this is our very first 360, whatever you want to call this, broadcast. Uh, and we are standing in the Garden Nerd headquarters test garden. Uh, so you're going to be able to see pretty much everything behind the scenes and in front of it. So I want to point out what we're growing. It's fall, and we are growing all the fall crops. That's cool weather crops for those of you with snow on the ground right now, so that means spring for you. But if you don't get snow, or your ground doesn't freeze, you can grow all this stuff in the fall, which is for us October, November, December, and through February. Yay, warm winter climates. So over here, we've got, and you can point, and I can point and you can go to it because you can scroll around. This is the coolest thing ever. This is a bed of kale and it's all different kinds. For example, some of my favorites are the scarlet kale right here, which is pretty cool. And this new one is dazzling blue kale, which is pretty awesome. Um, so there, this is the kale bed, and um, behind it we've got potatoes, which are growing over there. And in the bed behind the sundial, which is an hour off because it's no longer daylight saving time, uh, we've got garlic, some volunteer dill, parsnips, and carrots. And in this bed right here, we have, uh, that's uh, shallots, not garlic radishes and in the middle which you can't see is spinach um, can see you can see well it's if you can get over the top of the radishes and see down then you can see the spinach okay so this big monster back here is tree kale um, can I walk over to this tree kale is it gonna yep. is it gonna see me I'm gonna Come walk over to tree kale da, 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 da. all right so this is kind of out of control right now this tree kale, but it says here it's perennial tree kale, and this is, um, it lives for four or five years before it gets crazy like this and then starts to topple over, and it's propagated from cuttings. So this is something that you can grow year round and eat fresh kale in the summer when it's too hot to have kale. Um, we've got strawberries setting fruit here in December, and it's a beautiful time of year. Okay, so now let's go this way this bed this bed has lettuces celeriac and celery sugar snap peas arugula and mosh because cool weather seasonal greens are fantastic and um, there's some kale that I grow for the chickens which by the way Mel over there is standing nearby our chickens who are kind of hanging out trying to figure out what's going on uh, thank you Mel um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else is going on here? We still have tomatoes growing, but they're almost done. But they're ripening because we've had a few days of like 80 degree weather. So that's, that's kind of happening there. Artichokes in pots and uh, some herbs, lots of herbs. And back there are the blackberries, which it, it is pretty much time to cut the blackberries back. And the blackberries you want to cut back, all the dead material that fruited this year and has died back, cut it down to the ground or a couple inches above the ground, and then tip, uh, tip prune all of the vines back to about four, four feet high or so. And then in spring they'll leaf out again and you'll have really amazing berries. So uh, what else should I talk about? Is there anything? <laughs> okay, well, we'll just wrap that up. All right, so thank you for joining me for our very first 360 tour of the, uh, of the Garden Nerd. Wait, let me try that again. So thank you for joining me for our very first 360 degree tour of the Garden Nerd Homestead uh, Test Garden. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Garden Nerd channel, uh, right down there, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for joining me. Happy gardening.